and he like I feel like now Nikali is kind of almost his demon so I hope that he has the ability to put that aside and is able to fight Phenom of course Phenom uh, very Kazunoko like himself uh, lots of erratic play very hard to predict and uh, just a, a very strong, strong young player on the come up. Yep, representing Norway, doing a great job of it. Oh, wait oh, a second. Oh, will he make oh, the change? Wait a second. He played Dalsum against Nikali before, it went terribly. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> you know, we spoke briefly with him about it last night. He just said that uh, this is in regards to playing against Titani that although he feels like his Nash is all right, he just expects that at least Haitani would have such good Nash experience that like his wouldn't cut it, right? So he, he felt like even though Dalsum is a rough matchup for him in this uh, against Nikali, he felt still like he had a better chance than with the Nash. Right. We'll see if that's true here. He did just beat uh, wow. a pretty tough matchup for himself when he Fight. beat K-Brad. That's right. He did that 3-0 as he well. Yeah. He was really focused in that match. Yeah. But yeah, again, he triggered Nikali is so scary. And it's so hard for Dalsum to, like, kill him before he can get that V-Trigger. It's just something you're going to have to deal with at some point in time. Very interesting first option to go for the frame traps like this. Yep, nope. there it is, the V-Trigger activation. Here we go. Scary time for Dalsum. But right, yeah, so at this point, what does Dalsum do? Do you try to zone? Are you in the air, meaning you're not zoning? If you try to zone, you can get hit by anything and, and basically lose. So far, Bill being the champ doing a good job. Again, with that mobility, similar to what we saw from Mr. Crimson. Oh, the low! Very cute. Interesting. And a nice jump back medium punch for Filipino champ. Gonna take that first round. Phenom couldn't quite get any play with that V-Trigger Nikali. F-Champ played that really well. It was a great yeah. round for him. Phenom starting it off with the dashing. I think maybe trying to establish, look, okay, that didn't go so well. Just playing away didn't go so well. Let me just get in there. <laughs> See if you can. Playing very patient. Again, one of the things about Filipino champ, yeah, he's so good at getting out of the corner. Jumping at him when he's in the corner is always a dangerous thing because he's so ready to slide under you and teleport away. Oh. Okay, some nice damage from Sim from afar. All right, Phenom trying to chase him now. Look at that, three jumps in a row from Phenom. Now Phenom's gonna get the hit and the V-Trigger cancel. So he's got Filipino champ in the corner, oh. gets him with the command throw. What's he gonna do? Oh, what goes with Sam? He can get great. Punished to the teleport. Oh, interrupted. F-Champ, can he get away from this? No. No, and Phenom is going to catch him. Take it to one to one. Nice work. Final round. Fight. F-Champ staying solid at the start here. And Phenom didn't start in the same way. He didn't dash up. Maybe a little bit more, more, more patience now. Ooh, he wants, to, to he wants something again. so badly. Yeah, he wanted to trade with that Crouch Roundhouse, and I love that teleport timing for Filipino champ. But Phenom, he can't let himself get flustered, and I feel like that's exactly what's happening here. I think you you're right. Errant dashes going there, trying to hit lots of buttons against Filipino champ. Oh, is that going to reach? Not no. quite there, but neither does back medium kick into EX Flame. But there's no. Filipino champ! That was a perfect? With 34 a 34 second. second perfect, he takes the <laughs> game. He is playing really well, got to say that. So we have to see the changes out of Phenom. The round where he dashed in. Look, you can't, you can't always dash in, right? That's not how it's always going to work. But he does have to find those uh, different moments to move forward. Well, Filipino champ looks laser focused in all yes, of a sudden. he does. He looks fantastic. He is playing really strong. And Phenom, like I said, can't let himself get caught up in this Filipino champ game. Filipino champ, you know, is really good at frustrating the opponent. Ah, that's good stuff. Okay, Phenom gets the knockdown. When he had the corner pressure, finally, in the last game, he did win the round. But there, it didn't amount to much. Well, he still has the position, sort of. Hasn't quite given it up oh, yet. God, this but is so good from F-Champ. Oh, oh, he saw the start of a full yes. Gets the counter hit on the stand medium kick, and it can all go downhill for Dalsum just like this. One more hit, one more mix up. Oh boy. Didn't Phil quite have super, that would have been big if he had. And Phenom now I think can play pretty patiently. He doesn't really need to take any risks, he's just trying to jab something on reaction. Yeah, but again, he let Filipino Champ out of the corner by jumping at him, which I think was 
yeah. bad idea, but Filipino Champ may be two frames too late with that anti-air back heavy punch. Fight. Medium punch is gonna work. Yeah, okay, he goes he's for the super spin, here. Yeah. I really like the read to get underneath. F Champ has just had so many right reads so far. Here comes Phenom, though. Now, this is what Phenom is capable of. He's capable of getting at you with some crazy uppercuts and multiple command throws. Again. There's a second crazy uppercut. I love it. Do what you gotta do to enforce your will to get in there. Phenom now, mid range, trying to approach underneath. And F Champ looking for something. I think that's a anti-air that F Champ is okay with. He's yeah. okay with that trade. Traded and it drained a bunch of gray life. Oh, Dash is under and goes for the throw instead. Get them looking for the left, right, and then throw in the third option that they forgot about. But just consider how many risks he has to take. All of these, you know, certainly, I was gonna say that's that's a risk. Uh, that's pressuring as he did before was a risk. Going in is a risk. Trying to anti-air at the right timing is a risk. It's always crazy to me, though, that that Yoga Gale comes out even when he gets hit early like that. So you get the trade on the uppercuts. Phenom sitting on oh, a lot of... Oh, boy. Okay. That's a lot of stun as well. Now Sim actually oh, has a chance to get a stun here. Back rolled into it. Oh, he thought he was teleporting next to him, so he went with the uppercut. But Filipino Champ was unable to punish. And again, sliding under. Oh, what a read. Are so you serious? Nice. Oh, my God. F Champ is playing out of his mind right now. Phenom with the grab. And again, Amazing. look, we talked about this when, when I talked about that knuckle do match, the teabagging. I mean, he's not really what he's doing there, but no. he is definitely still getting under the skin. And like I said, this is how Dalsums win. They want you to get frustrated. They want you to try to get in, like, like tr uh, uh, be too aggressive. I, I'm so impressed by the read where uh, you know, Phenom went for command grab thinking, I had done Dragon Punch twice here before. He's going to sit still for sure. But F Champ was already at that other level of, uh, yeah, it's command grab. All right. Is he going to switch? I, 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 I don't think so. Maybe he, he has a Bison. Maybe he wants to take away the, uh, the, uh, the home court advantage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Go away from India. Yeah. Nope. nope. Right Doesn't care about it. that. Oh, just maybe want to give himself a little bit of time to think. Seriously, he has to take so many risks in, in everything, does F Champ. Anti-airs, pressure, and the damage payout for them is not that great. And the risk is pretty great, but he's just been playing so well. So Phenom has to make those changes. He's down 2-0. A guy many people called to Fight. make it a... Very far in this bracket. Yes. Very far in. He was a common pick for a Dark Horse uh, to, you know, do really well. Of course, he already has made it to this top 16. He's not doing badly at all. But uh, this is a, a match that... He wants to do that, better. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. He wants to win. Yes. Oh, cross nice. counter, stand jab, gets the stun. And look at this. Phenom this time. That's what he needs to do. mauling F champ. That looked exactly like what he needed. Yes. And maybe he... He's gonna. He's learned a lot from that particular round. Let's see if he tries to be a little more aggressive. Wow, he's throwing out some of those uppercuts now. Oh, yeah, using the dive kick to beat the back medium punch. Causing the delay in the jump timing a little bit. And Filipino champ with the V skill to avoid the, the ground pound so often. Beautiful anti-air is Phenom though. Sitting on a full meter, gets the crush counter on the sweep. Just goes for a safe jump setup. Didn't even do any, like, try to shove the, the, the body on the ground to the corner. And Filipino Champ gonna spend the meter. Nice. Will he go for the mix-up? He did, but not a whole lot. Phenom now gets the knockdown. Oh, but interrupted by Champ with the jab. And the instant overhead by Champ as well. And he is doing well. He is at match Final point. Round. He's at match point Fine. over Phenom in this matchup, which he really felt so uncomfortable when he was fighting against Haitani. But I don't know, did that loss against Haitani just like trigger a switch in Filipino Champ? Because he's been playing so well since then. He was able to defeat Justin Wong, he was able to defeat K-Brad. And now does he have the potential to beat Phenom? Phenom needs to win three in a row, but you know what? It's one round at a time. And it'll start with this round right here. Oh, I love that dashing in. And he gets the sweep too. He's looking good right now. This is what he needs. 
He only gets the grab. That could have been huge. Okay, but he comes in anyway for the for the hit. No spending in the critical art. Oh, missed oh, the instant air no. teleport. Where's Phenom? He didn't get the punish. I'm telling you, on reaction, you can super it. But he, it ends up working out anyway for him. So important to see. He gets the game. One of those rounds was exactly what he needed. Right. right. That was the blow up round. And in that round, he did the work he needed to do too. He did have, you know, maybe win. not some optimal choices, but he ends up getting it. And that is a that's a way to start it. what they're discussing here. Uh, I think they just want to make sure that it's going to be Dalsum again. Okay. Or maybe controller issues? Not sure. Oh, that's right. Yeah, they're just trying Round to prevent one. the 8 minute timeout on the converter. Fight! Oh, right. Okay. Alright, back into this. Gets the jump in now, Phenom. Now the command throw. Interrupted. Forward movement. Way up there. Oh, I like the timing by Phenom. Mm, Just little a little bit far, away. Yeah, too far for that kind of we haven't seen the V-Skills almost at all, but that was the right call right there. Nice universal blowing up that V-Trigger. As soon as you see it, that's the first reaction. And another V-Skill. You might, you might be seeing a bit of a recovery for Phenom's Nikali. Ooh. Oh, what? He that said... And he keeps back rolling into the fireball. He keeps back rolling into the fireball. He needs to not do any quick rises. He's setting himself up for that mix-up. And now Filipino champ once again at match point. I, I, is it just me or does it feel like it seems like Phenom has a little bit of... Is he not accustomed to this match? I'm not sure. I know at least at the start of SF5 there were some really strong sims in Norway. And I don't know how much uh, they are still playing or whether he gets to play against the other European sims much online. I just, I don't know. Gets out of that corner. Yeah, like I said, it's such a dangerous thing to jump at Filipino Champ when he's in the corner. He's so good at sliding under or just teleporting to the other side. Oh, what? yeah, that's one solution. Phenom's on the ropes. Super, that might be good. It, it is. is. And that is going to be a huge chunk of damage. Oh my god, look at that. And now, potentially one hit. Yep, there it is. Oh, Phenom god. stays alive. Using that V-Trigger activation to see what Champ was doing. And he saw the teleport, so nice he knew stuff. that that critical art was ready to go. Ooh, couldn't quite get there for the punish, but at least Phenom got in. And he moved forward because of that mistake by F-Champ. Okay, nice. underneath yeah. was F-Champ. Still pressuring. F-Champ, of course, always using like seven or eight different anti-airs to keep it really hard. And he's gonna combo into the critical you know, art. He didn't take the risk on the anti-air, but then immediately after, F-Champ took the risk on the jab. Count, on the yeah. jab. Yeah, exactly. Counter pose. Oh! Yeah, he's gonna use that again to predict. And now he has Dalsum in the corner. You just heard him throw him out of the teleport. What a backdash from Filipino Champ! My god! That is such a dangerous option. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do, James. <laughs> Phenom building a super. Okay, F Champ used that to just get out. Look at He's this. backing up. Oh, I love that V skill. Phenom's still dangerous, still yeah, deadly. One hit. Oh, Sim trying to get space for his life. And now, can F Champ find the final hit? How's he gonna. Make this work. I like Phenom just playing patiently over there. He doesn't yeah, really Phenom need to make anything. He literally happen. can kill him in one combo in the critical art just like that. Is that enough? Not quite. Oh my god. But very close. And the overhead does it. Phenom takes the game after all. Wow. Nicole, now the so nerves. F Champ was playing fantastically yeah. at the start. He's still he's still doing a good job, but Phenom is back in business. Yeah. It seemed like it wasn't just that F Champ was playing great. It said it seemed like Phenom was kind of out of it, or I think you're right, maybe a little bit flustered. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know what the deal was, but he looks much more like himself now. That's a Round good sign. One. Yeah, I think he's just playing a little more patient now. Fine, picking his moments a little bit. And there he gets that crush counter crouch roundhouse. That's such a tough thing for Dalsum to deal with. That priority system causing so many problems with Dalsum's pokes. 
again, that timing on that jump roundhouse. Filipino champ, who was looking so good in those first two games, now yeah. maybe it's time for nerves for Filipino champ. Because you were playing out of your mind and then it ended up, you're tied, 2-2. Two -two. Right, oh, what a read on the dive kick. Good pressure from Phenom here. Oh, well, F champ gets the whip punish. Can he make anything happen? Well, not a whole lot. Not a whole lot there. Now Phenom just waiting for the instant air teleport. Oh, catches him with the beat. Overhead. Oh, another overhead. And now Phenom at match point over Filipino champ. Everything has gone downhill. F champ was playing so well. Phenom has woken up, though. Yeah, like I said, he's just not letting himself get flustered anymore. Not pushing too hard, not being overly aggressive. See, look at that. Look at all that defense there. All that blocking from Phenom. Right. Yeah, and starting to use that V skill a little more carefully as well. Yeah, I really like that. And again, that dive kick to beat the slide. F Champ just trying to play patiently. He doesn't want to stick anything out that's going to get crush countered. Okay, you know what? He gets knocked down there, but at least he postpones V-Trigger Nikali a little bit. Oh, gets the counter and confirms into the super. Oh, Will he go throw. in still? Great what, tech, what Phenom tech. trying to dash up, trying to end this. Couple of big attempts on the frame traps from Filipino champ. Phenom did not bite. But that's unsafe! Oh but not punished well. He gets the hit out of the air, but then claws him at the feet. There it is, Phenom making the comeback all the way down 0-2. And Filipino champ going down the two Nikalis, looking so strong in the first two games. Something we've talked about all day is the three out of five format. Yes. How it's been helpful for some people, and how it's hurt some other people. And this is one situation where it was very helpful, obviously, for Phenom. He was down 0-2. Mm -hmm. He would have lost. Not only that, though, for F-Champ, 